uh, so in this uh, episode I was gonna create an armature for you um, basically we got this bullet character again and um, armatures are probably the easiest thing to create um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it really fast so from the last video I went ahead and made the legs longer um, the legs were just too short it just didn't look very good so I made them longer but uh, that's about all I did uh, I was thinking about making the mouth a little bit different adding in some more polygons here so that they could bend better and look a little bit more like a mouth but I'm not going to do that in this video I'm just going to go ahead and create an armature so let's go ahead and tap out of that and let us create an armature really quick so shift day of course does you go to armature and single bone and this creates a new armature right there and of course where the 3d curse is at so let's go ahead and tab that now first bone is always the root bone and uh, you gotta get into the habit of, of course naming your bones root bone so and this is just a bone that just roots everything to one bone location so that it's all in one bone um, So shift A creates another bone. While you're in edit mode, it just creates another bone. So let's go ahead and create a stomach bone. So let's say stomach. Now I imagine that this guy would have three bones. So he's gonna have a stomach bone. He's gonna have head bone or um, a chest bone I should say stomach bone chest and then head so I'll consider this the head head right that should work just fine Let's create a mouth bone here. Top mouth. And we'll just go ahead and duplicate it. And then we're going to do this. There, bottom mouth. Bottom mouth. And then we want two sides. So Let's go ahead and just create another bone. Mm -hmm. And then This way, we can control the mouth using bones. Uh, normally, you would use blend shapes. Um, I hate blend shapes because they just don't animate. You have to go into Unity and then you have to animate it inside of Unity. And Unity's animation tools just aren't that great. 
Blender is of course much better at it. And so if I just simply animate the mouth using bones, that just simply works better than animating the mouth using blend shapes. Because if I use it, if I use blend shapes, you know, if I get down into the gritty of it, into here, you know, I can animate the blend shapes, right? Create the uh, shape keys right here. But I can't animate it inside a blender, right? I have to go into Unity to animate it. So that's a huge problem because <laughs> Unity isn't that advanced when it comes to these sorts of things, to any, any kind of animation at all. It, it does basic animation and it's kind of weird and cumbersome to work with. It. You can't preview your animation. See, that's a big problem. You can't preview it. There's a lot of little issues with Unity and I, I forget all the little quirks to it. But uh, it's not something that I really like to use. It just doesn't really work very well. You know, you have to play, you have to press play and then you have to animate inside the window just to test it just to see what's going on but anyways um, let's go ahead and do uh, mouth left yeah mouth left that's fine I was gonna say like mouth corner left but I just do mouth left and of course this is gonna be mouth right yeah this is left okay um, I'm going to move the 3D cursor up here so that it's all ready to go. I'm going to move it around here. Okay, so let's go ahead and move that into place. Right there. Right there. that's all into place let's see here move it down there we go and then we're gonna do this um, left uh, so shoulder left uh, okay why is it okay oh god okay <laughs> I don't know why Blender's having so many problems uh, that's kind of scary. Sometimes it comes back. Okay, sometimes it comes back. Oh god. Okay, it's not. It's not coming back. E. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I. I just. Just wait. Let's just wait. I don't want to lose my work. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had any problems with recording or anything. So, uh, uh, yeah, okay, it's done. Yeah, well, this is what happens. Uh, this is just the nature of software. Yeah, it's uh, okay. Well, I'll, uh, uh, I'll just keep recording and hopefully it <laughs> solves it soon or else this is going to be a really long video of having problems. Huh. Uh, I really wish that it would just go away so that I can actually open up my... reopen it. Wow. Yeah, talk about problems with Windows. Problems with Windows. Problems with Windows. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. Uh, that was really uncomfortable. All right. Well, it looks like character's still there. Uh, let's uh, just try something here. Um, let's go into unwrap. Yeah, it looks all fine. Looks like it didn't get totally screwed up here. Yeah, everything looks fine. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and save another version of it just in case because it's getting kind of weird. Okay, let's number four. Okay, so let's go back into this mode. All right, so it looks like it saved it right on point. 
Um, let's save it again. Hopefully it doesn't screw up again. Okay, so let's create another one and we will call this forearm left, okay? down to this view looks good okay mm -hmm. let's do this we will make a palm okay so we'll say palm now hand excuse me hand left and then what we'll do is we will Yeah, that's a line just fine, okay. Okay, and then we'll just simply move this over and we'll just do a finger, all right? Finger it out. And we will want to select both of these, select this one, then this one, and then parent it. So we'll say keep offset. So now it's parented, and this would be, uh, I'm gonna do, what I like to do is number my fingers. Okay, I like to number my fingers, and I go thumb, right? One, two, so I go finger, two, left. And then I duplicate that. We're gonna have to do a uh, 3D view here. I think they've been better when the bone is higher up, besides in the middle. You know, you don't want to put the bone in the middle. I think it's just a little higher up. And then the bone should be in the middle for the finger, like this. In the middle there. So, so that I think it animates a little bit better. I don't think the crimping happens so much, but uh, anyways, all this, we can just change all this anyways. Finger, one, left, okay? And then we're gonna duplicate that one, go above view. I'm gonna make that a thumb. Coming out. Now it's uh, somewhat rotated, and that's always a problem. See how it's like rotated? So we're just gonna go ahead and go into this bone, and we're just gonna roll it. All right, so it's more, it's uh, a lot nicer. There we go. Put it in the middle there. And then we're just going to drag it out here. And we're going to rename this to thumb left. All right. And we're going to parent it all to that. OK, it's already parented. Yeah, great. All right, so yeah, there we go. Okay, whatever. Now, what we need to do is create a um, IK chain, okay? So we're just gonna do this, Y back. We're gonna make it pretty big. I like them to be pretty big so they're easy to select. Um, right there, and we're just gonna say IK chain, IK arm left. So we go, that's the IK arm for the left. And then we're going to say, um, let's do parent, clear parent. No parent, no parent. I don't want a parent. Uh, 
Ah, uh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, okay. I didn't want a parent. No parent. There we go. Oh, why that didn't work? Oh well, doesn't matter. Not important. Um, we will also do this as a parent. So this will be parent to, excuse me, to this. Keep offset. Now, what we need to do is create a leg system. So let's go ahead and center the view again, like this. We're gonna go ahead and create another one, another bone. This time it's gonna go straight down though. gonna be left leg of course so thigh left and then uh, let's do number three and then we do shin left mm -hmm. and then we can do ankle bone right like this um, sometimes I, I do two let's just do two you know I, it really just adds bones that are kind of unnecessary but I like to bend the toes you know bending toes I think is adds a nice little depth to it you know nothing that great but you know, not, nothing ankle left ah toes left there we go I'll take a look at it to see if it's good. It's all lined up. No, nope, it's not lined up. And let's see here. Uh huh. That's slightly off, huh? That's kind of odd. Did I make my foot slightly? inverted maybe I did yeah maybe it is a slightly slightly in there like um, that is odd you know what we'll just keep it the way it is because I don't want to screw up any sort of IK chain but man that is gonna I guess I might have inverted you know what we'll just go ahead and do that yeah the feet can be fine feet will be fine I just don't want to change the ankle the ankle looks like it's pretty well in there yeah I'm not gonna totally worry about that okay well um, let's do this now what we need to do is create an IK for the foot right IK foot extrude make it pretty big because I like to grab them and you go IK leg left right gotta have an IK and you're gonna just get rid of the parent right here just get rid of it no parent oh come on ah oh, what is going on okay you know what Pausing this, I don't know what is going on with this. Okay, it's doing something weird. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's really weird. That's really concerning. I mean, if it keeps crashing, uh, I mean, there could be some serious consequences to the file. Huh. 
Okie dokie. Well, now let's try it again. <laughs> let's keep trying. Looks fine. Okay, I don't think it corrupted anything. I, I think it's just running out of memory. It's probably just running out of memory. Let's just assume that's it. Okay. Um, still recording, right? That's yeah, still recording. We're 20 minutes in. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up really quick. So, the armature. Let's go. In, we have to go into pose mode here. And what you do is you take this and you would create an IK chain on it. So you would say, okay, IK right here. IK um, inverse kinematics right here. And uh, you want to target, of course, the armature and the bone, which would be the um, forearm. Forearm. Um, that's odd. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. You gotta hit this bone. I haven't done this in about two months. And of course, the IK is the one that you want to target. You're targeting the IK. You always do chain length too because you got two bones here. Uh, however many you want, if you have like a tail or whatever. Um, two. Now what happened there? There it goes. Ooh, now you have an arm, fully animated arm. Congratulations. Uh, and the problem is I don't have a pole bone, so let's go ahead and create a pole bone. Oops. All right, so pole, create pole. Um, IK pole, left arm, arm, left. Okay, and then we're just gonna go to the third view and just move it back. Somewhere right there, all good. And we're going to create one down here. And move it back. Oh, no. Oh, wait. We have to have these forward. So, uh, poles are just simply a target. It, it points at, like, your elbow bends in a certain direction. IK, pole, leg, left. And so it's just the the mathematics behind this whole thing targets that as your pole. So you got pole target armature pole um, arm left right there, and it just broke your arm. So what you want to do, of course, is the pole angle. So what ninety degrees, something like that. Negative 90, okay, yeah, of course, negative 90. So negative 90 is pointing there. Okay, then we want to go down here, create an IK chain, armature, and then you go IK, leg, and you go chain length is two, right? Yeah, itself, one for itself, all bones. Uh, no, let's just let's not do all bones. <laughs> that might give us some really weird, uh, you know, behavior. Let's just not do that. All right, let's do that. Let's connect this bone to this bone. Have to keep, have to always uh, make sure that they're connected to something here. Now, get back into. Pose mode. Pose mode is the only way you can um, edit the IK chain. You can't do that in editing mode. Okay, so you're out of luck if you're going to do that. So now we pull target it. Armature. Pull. Pull leg. There. And of course, 
probably negative 90. Let's just do negative 90. No, did not work. Wah, wah, wah. 180. Oh, wow. Okay. It all depends on your character and your model. This pole angle, you're always going to be screwing around with it. It's always going to be give you trouble. Okay. It's never not going to give you trouble. It's always going to give you trouble. Um, bam. There we go. Now, when we test it, we're going to go ahead and test it. Yeah, see, it goes up. Let's see that. Perfect. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, the leg is, the leg is moving. It's it's adjusting itself. And if you wanted to change the legs, look at the look at how the pull target changes the legs right here. See how it's it's trying to point at the pull target. So you can always readjust your model all the time all the time you're always readjusting and you know if you wanted to have like a waving motion he's waving his hand in the air wave 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 it out wave it out and then of course you go no i want him waving not like he's like shielding himself see that bam now he's waving now he's going because of the uh the pull target had to change and now he's waving bye bye everybody see that now uh now we have to uh duplicate all these bones to the other side of the mesh okay so let's go ahead and do that really quick now i like to just simply highlight everything and then we deselect all of this stuff so all every bone on this side of the mesh is highlighted. Yay. Now what we do, center the screen, center it, okay, is we change this to 3D cursor. And then we're going to duplicate everything. Duplicate it, shift D, okay, scale X negative 1, and it duplicates it to the other side did i just blow your mind there it just duplicated to the other side okay now the problem is all the namings so you go into here and you say flip names do you see that flip names and now all the names are flipped instead of left you've got right look at that look how easy that was and now if we go into this it's already made for you. All the graphics are, it's already changed. See that? See how easy that is? See that? It's already reassigned to the pole targets. The pole targets are now on the right side instead of the left. See that? It already changed it for you. It's already duplicated. So now, okay, this is a problem. Okay, see, pole angle. This is a problem. Sometimes on the other side, the pole angle doesn't line up correctly. Okay, for the leg, it looks like it lined up perfectly, okay? But not for the arm. So we have to change this. It looks like right here. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, um, let's undo that. Let's go back into tab mode. See how it's all rotated wrong? So we're going to go into bone. Look at the roll. Okay, this is what happens when you duplicate something and then you go, uh, you know, scale. Look at the roll on this. Look at roll is 9132. Why is the roll this? I can never figure this out with Blender. Why this happens? We're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and copy. So we're going to. Control C, and then we're gonna Control V, and it should duplicate it. Now it might, you might have to go into negatives. Okay, we're just gonna do the negative. We're gonna try that. Yeah, bam. See that? So this one's positive, and this one's gonna be negative. It's gonna be the opposite. You see that the roll is zero. It duplicates it perfectly. If the roll is zero. For some reason, every single time, 
it always seems to screw up whenever I do negative two. See, now the roll is perfect. <laughs> I can never figure it out. I can never actually figure out why that is. And I've, I've never really thought of like an easier solution to than just duplicating like this, just taking each. I have to just select each one and copy the rotation and just duplicate it. I don't know if any of you have any better ideas. I love to hear it, but I, I've never figured out any better way to fix the roll. I've always been trying to anticipate this not happening, you know, being like, oh, this doesn't happen anymore. You know, like, oh, the next version of Blender, they're going to fix it. You know, they're not, I don't, no, I don't know. I don't know if they can fix it. I don't know if it's fixable. Maybe you're not even supposed to duplicate the bones. You know, maybe there's some other way that just says flip bones. Maybe, maybe there is. Maybe there's like a, symmetrize I don't know what that means maybe I should look that up oh well I'll do it in another video so all of these bones should look identical to the roll of the other bones now the roll is really important as we saw so we're gonna go ahead and flip into the up oh, see look at the roll fixed it see that see the roll something was wrong with the roll so now I don't have to change the pole target the roll was the problem so we're gonna go ahead and wave wave I'm gonna wave uh, now he looks like he's like you know he's waving somebody down he's going stop 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 anyways let's go ahead and go into uh, this mode uh, pose mode okay pose mode so how do we we, we select this and we're going to go ahead and make another copy number five okay wow we're at five already five we're gonna do that now we're going to apply we're gonna clip no not clip apply apply merge limit yeah merge okay apply let's do it let's just do it we're just gonna go ahead and do it okay it looked like it merged perfectly okay now we shift select that and we press control P and it's gonna go with automatic weights BAM okay <laughs> now, oh wow oh his whole bottom gets distorted we want to add some bones with that all right oh look at that yeah i don't think i want that much distortion on his butt yeah here we go look at that it's already animating it's already getting the job done see that oh look at that yeah see tap dance come on tap dance da 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 all right so Let's take a look at the mouth. I will open my mouth. Okay, so it's like totally animating all these other things. I don't want that, of course. Uh, we gotta do weight. We have to adjust our weight, of course. His mouth is like totally distorted. La la la, la 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 la. Okay, so basically this character is totally not right something's terribly wrong with him but um that's how you do uh, I see that's how you do a quick and easy armature um, of course I'm gonna have to fix this ah, I thought I made it said this and that and I said keep offset didn't I do that so if I move this everything else moves with it and I will 
take all of these. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take all the IK chain, all the IK stuff, right? Um, and then I'm going to parent it to this, this one. Keep offset. Okay. Parent it all there. I think I got it all. Uh, okay, and then the mouth. It looks like the mouth I didn't get. And then we'll just do the mouth really quick. And then we're just going to parent it to this bone. Keep offset. There we go. Okay. Well. Oops. And then we will do this also. There's another thing that um, you have to know, and I forgot to do it. Um, deform right here. I don't want these bones deforming anything. Okay, I don't want this root bone deforming anything. So you're just gonna decheck that. I don't want any deformation on these things. Okay, because they're not supposed to deform. They are just there to help me animate the rest of the model. Okay. See, look at that. It actually was deforming. See, it's already all messed up. Thanks a lot. Uh, messed it all up. I think I got it all. Did I get this one? Yeah, I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. That one. That one. Okay. Yeah totally so let's just go ahead and um, select that select this and then we'll do that again automatic there we go okay mostly fixed oh yeah the eyeballs ah I gotta get I gotta get bones for the eyeballs and the eyelids. Uh, let's do that really quick. Here, how much time do we have? 37 minutes, that's fine. Um, boy, I haven't created a character in a couple months, so let's go ahead and do that really quick. Sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. Let's get that. Let's get in there. Okay, so basically, the eyes. You have to have three bones because you have one bone for the eye and a bone for the upper eyelid and the bottom eyelid, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and create a bone. So let's go ahead and do eye left. Now let's delete that bone. Okay. Now, I want to send all of this back to the way it was so that it's all perfectly taken care of. I want to put my cursor in the middle of this eyeball, okay? And so, cursor, cursor to active no okay cursor to center no okay um <laughs> cursor there it goes okay snap cursor to select it. okay what did I do snap cursor to select it okay yes that's what I wanted um, see how the cursor is now in the middle All right so now that it's in the middle I can actually make the bone so I can go out of here make the bone bam and the bone is now 
in the middle. It's snapped in the center of that. Okay, that's a really important part of this whole thing. Now, see how the head is offset? Okay, no, don't want to do that. So that is the head. This is the head and this is the tail. So I want to no. Oh. I want this to equal here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy paste so that it's perfectly equal. It's perfectly flat. Okay. And you know you can make it as big or loud as you want. So Go ahead and rename this I left. Now I want to create another bone. Shift A. And this would be eyelid. Top eyelid. Top left. And then I will create another one. And this would be eyelid bottom 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 left okay bam now now I want these to all be connected to one eyeball okay this just to be the eye control so it'll just be eye left eye control left now you know maybe you just have this bone you know what let's save a bone let's save a bone this bone these would be connected to that keep offset and then this bone will be connected to the chest bone Normal in a normal looking character would be of course connected to the head bone, but because this character is so weird looking that I'm just calling this the chest bone. You know, there's only <laughs> there's only so many units I can make on this character. Let's see here. And now we want to center the 3D cursor. 3D cursor there. And then we're just gonna duplicate these. And then we're just gonna say scale x negative one on the other side and then we're just gonna flip the names flip the names and we're gonna go ahead and check it out see if the names flipped correctly I right eyelid top right eyelid bottom right I right and then it looks like it got parented correctly so There we go. Look at that. Already animating. Yeah, there we go. He's working out. Gotta work it. There we go. And the eyes work perfectly. There we go. And let's go ahead and. Uh, re-automatic weights. Of course, I'm going to do a video on weighting the character. Yeah, see, now his eyes are adjusted to that. So, and the idea is getting his eyes open like that. They would open and close and be like, and then this eye, this would be like 
looking around looking around like that that's the idea but it's only these bones are only supposed to control the eyes not the whole forehead okay so what we're gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna weight all of this correctly so we're just gonna go into uh, object mode and then we'll just uh, weight paint see that and what we'll do I'll show you how to control the vertices is look at this if you control the vertices you can take all these control groups and uh, you can actually control the vertex, the vertices. And um, and uh, I'll show you how to do that because it's actually really important. You know, you always pick auto normalize. I always want to do that. Auto normalize. That's gonna normalize all the the weights. Basically, you select this and you say remove. You take all these vertices and you, you select a uh, certain eye. You know, you go eyelid, top, left, and you remove all the other vertices, and then you assign this bone. This is basically a bone. Okay, that's what this vertex group is. When you take a vertex group, this is a bone. And um, let's zoom in on that. And so all you have to do is assign, remove and assign all the different vertices. Okay, that's all. Yeah, he opens his eyes going, ah, but it's gonna look better than this. Okay, that's another video. Um, that's gonna be probably, hopefully shorter than this video. I was thinking about changing these. I can actually get rid of all these polygons. You don't really need all these polygons. You know, you notice that? Because this is going to be flat anyways. Why even have these polygons? You don't need them. You know, right here too, just flatten this out. It'll probably make it look flatter and nicer. Oh well. Same with these. Don't really need all these polygons. You know, I'll uh, go ahead and probably do a video on that to decimating this structure. Saving polygons is always a good thing in most video games, but not always desirable. Sometimes you do want just a whole bunch of polygons, even though they look unnecessary. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. Thank you for watching. Alright, bye.